<clears throat> All right, welcome everybody. I will have you know that I turn off my fridge for these videos so that you can't hear the compressor kicking on every now and then. That's what I get for filming in my kitchen. It reminds me I haven't done an apartment tour yet. Still need to do one of those soon. And I got a couple more boxes to open and look in, a couple more cool things that people send. Says Peter, your YouTube channel has given me tons of enjoyment. To say thanks, I sent you one of my favorite indulgences, this shaving cream. It goes a long way and will make you smell like a king. Thank you, Mark. Sandalwood shaving cream. You might notice that I haven't been shaving recently due to a large amount of laziness on my part. But I do want to smell it really bad. Oh my goodness. I've never really never really used a lot of shaving cream in my life, to be honest. Mostly because I when I do a really close shave, I Oh. It does smell really good. When I do a really close shave, I get like pimples and stuff, so I usually just use the a trimmer with no attachments, just like almost a, a far shave. It does smell good. It smells, it smells really good. Can I use it without shaving? Just like well, rub some of it into my face and then rinse it off? Very tempted to try eating that. I'm sure everyone wants me to really bad, but I'm not going to. That's a cool gift. That's a very cool gift. Very thoughtful and Intimate. We have a box, if you don't mind. It looks like knitted things. This is perhaps a scarf. Maybe not very forward thinking of me in the fashion area to assume it's only a scarf, but um, I just don't have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. But that's what it seems like to me. It's comfy and warm and soft. I would recommend it. If you had it, you would put it on like this to maximize how much it touches your face. My voice is going away. Why is it doing that? I'm sick right now. I'm sick, but I'm st <clears throat> still making the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I had a ferret, I think this would be a very cool sweater for a, a very fat ferret, or maybe a small pig, a piglet. Oh, there was a note that fell out of it, by the way. It says, hello, Peter. I hope this coffee cozy fits your press. If not, you can use it as a trivet. I don't know what a trivet is. Or something I couldn't just send a coffee cozy that may or may not fit. So I made you a scarf as well. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for what you do. I oh, also made a mug cozy. Stephanie, a.k.a. Scandapsis, which is a kind of... Plant, I think Scandapsis is. Stephanie's a kind of person, and so is Scandapsis now. I think I can. Slide that on there. It's too cute. It even has a little button right here. Button it up. Bloop. Look at that, you're good to go. Kind of late, but I guess I could make a little coffee just to see what a, a fresh pot of coffee is like with and, and see how this goes on the, the 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 what's it called? A French press? It could also be a hand muff. Is that what those are called? A stole or something? A muff? Put your hands in here and warm them up with each other. It's like it's like a hoodie-less hoodie pocket.
made in my French press here. Just have to see if this little thing will fit on here. Decide which way it should go. I think green at the bottom. Unbutton it. Okay, so it looks like it's like too tall for the French press, but I'm not discouraged Look at that. It's not not too bad because I think we can just take this and fold it over like a bit of a collar. <laughs> what do you think? It's super cute. Now my coffee will stay warmer longer. Or if I ever lose my mind and decide how to make cold coffee, it'll stay colder longer. Oh, it's definitely still way too hot to drink, and it probably will be for way too long. Okay, I'm going to sit back up now. Thank you, Stephanie, for sending these wonderful, beautiful, thoughtful, cozy koozies and cozy items for me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, it's far too late to drink coffee. Right now, it's nearly bedtime. Then we have here this, and then here we have this, which says, fragile, I mustache you to handle with care. Says, true fay, true fay? Oh, this is the incredible pen box. They told me they'd be sending one of these. Uh, it's one of those, as far as I can tell, one of those kind of monthly subscription based boxes. Who's the first one who did that? You know, they have all sorts of different ones like this. Everything from makeup to snacks to, uh, well, probably everything by now. There's one for ink. It says, the pen is the tongue of the mind. It says, hey, Peter, thanks so much for checking out our incredible box. We hope you enjoy. Your friends at Truffet. Pen, Esterbrook, ST Torta. Tortoise, I know that word. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing, I am losing my voice a little bit. Ink, Robert Oster, Thunderstorm. I do like Robert Oster. I think I have a couple other bottles of that. Pen sleeve, Zoya, Maps theme. Ooh, I also do like stickers. I am a weirdly big... Uh, that's like a cool... I do like stickers. Okay, they got me there. Look, I'll be, look let me be honest with you. First up, I'm, a, I come, I'm coming into this a little bit skeptical of the whole monthly boxes thing, right? I don't like it that much. I think it's, uh, I mean, it's good on the business side. If you're, if you are the business, it's great to get people signed up on like a recurring monthly thing, right? That's awesome. Instead of them buying something once, they buy it every month. That's great. And it's cool if you're the customer and every month you get something cool. Uh, it's probably the peak of consumerism, right? You're like, I don't know what I want. Just send me something every month. Yeah, just keep sending it. It's fine. I'll keep, yeah, you keep, and it's great. But it's one thing if it's like snacks or makeup, you know, and you get to sample it. But here, you're actually getting a fountain pen. And I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm probably being weirdly protective of a hobby I'm just now getting into and know hardly anything about. But I feel like there's no way to kind of... Uh, 
really invest in the pens if they're getting sent to you at random and you don't even order them yourself. Like there's no window shopping involved. You're not researching the pens. You just get them sent to you randomly. Plus, trust me, I know. I have pens sent to me all the time, like this one right here. I've got like 30 pens and I only like three of them, the ones that I went out of my way to search for and buy on my own. That said, it can be very helpful to receive new art supplies uh, when you're a little bit down and out uh, artistically, m motivationally speaking, you know what I mean? So I think there are definitely plus sides and downsides to all this, but I mean, I told them, they're like, hey, Peter, you want to, re you know, you know re review our, our ink box? And I was like, I'm a little bit skeptical of the boxes. They're like, well, we, we will convince you. And so far, I do like the stickers they included. All right, so this is a Esterbrook ST Tortoise. Now this is interesting. It's a little bit like spring-loaded, pushing it in there, then you twist. Wait, then you twist. I haven't felt that kind of uh, pen, a pen lid action before. I do like that. So tortoise, this is kind of a, an old fashioned uh, pattern here that you'd see on like tortoise shell glasses and stuff like that. Oh good, a, p a piston converter, excellent. That is what I like to see. And there is also a tiny gasket right here, a little seal just to keep everything in order. The nib says Esther Brook on it. 1858, a little bit stiff maybe, I can't tell right here. Here we have the Robert Oster fountain pen ink, thunderstorm color. What do you think that'll be, yellow, blue? Just dark, very dark blue maybe. I have a little sketchbook here, grids. I do like these. You can never have too many of these lying around. Sometimes you only write in it once before you lose heart, but then you always want another one. You know, and they don't take up much room either. This is a little nice little one. Okay, and then what is the idea here? It's like something to put your pen in, like a in one a one pen pen case. Pop your pen in there. Then you, I guess you fold it over, and let it lash it around some more, and then maybe tuck it through, and you're good, good to go, I guess. Is that for protective purposes? So it doesn't get scratched or something? Ceremonial purposes, perhaps? It's cute. I don't know though. I don't really see the purpose of a pen sleeve. I, e I, either, I either want to put my pens in a pen case with like three or four other pens as I go drawing. I mean, there's room for maybe one more pen in here. So maybe then, maybe then if I put two pens and go drawing, because I want some options, right? I want some options. Or I just put a couple pens in my pocket, because pens fit pretty good in your pocket, but you can't put this in your pocket very well, because so cloth on cloth is weird, and it's just a little bit more clunky and cluttery this way. I don't know. It, this, it, the thing itself is nice, though. It feels well made. This got a little piece of metal here swinging around. Very cool. Just not convinced. If I was on Shark Tank, I don't know, you know? Not that I'm the arbiter of whether or not something is worthwhile or not, but. All right, let's put some ink in here. Some thunderstorm. So my understanding of these pen boxes is that there's different, different levels, like a 25, 75, and $150 per month Thing that you can sign up for, right? And I think I got the most expensive one here, the $150 per month box. So it seems a little crazy, but people are really into this sort of, people love monthly boxes and people love pens, right? They love art supplies. So also I just looked up this pen on the internet and just a plain like ebony black version of it is $150 by itself. So if you pay 150 bucks for this, box, you're already getting $4 off, plus this little sketchbook, the ink, the pen case for free, and when you sign up for the box, it looks like you can choose, you can like select whether you like fountain pens 
roller ball pens, felt tip, you know, more pads and little booklets, less pen cases, stuff like that. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. They do seem to be able to customize it a little bit for you. Which is good, I guess. All right, let's see if this, okay. It posts. Okay, right on, right on. The cap sticks on the back. I have a little sketchbook here of my own. This could be used for trying out pens. Let's see. It works. It's working. It does feel good in my hand also. It's got a good heft weight. I don't know about this. Oh, it's all right. Uh -huh. the... All right, so it doesn't flex much, but the line it puts down is very satisfying. I'll give it that. Esterbrook. I've never heard of this brand before, but there's a lot of brands I haven't heard of, so. SD. Tortoise. Tor. Toys. All right, so let's try drawing with it. I like it. I like the lines. Let's try. I'm down. I'm ready. I'm excited. Do I look? At, do I do I look like it? All right, so I started drawing, and if this pen actually draws very satisfyingly, very well. The ink comes out well. It doesn't flex a lot. The pen there's not a lot of different variation in the the lines it draws, but you don't need a lot of variation when every line is satisfying juicy, thick, and just, it just slobbers the ink onto the paper in a way that, that I really enjoyed and I couldn't stop drawing. Now this loot box, uh, I'm not really sure when this, all this, this hype, this craze for monthly um, um, boxes of unknown goodies really got started, but it's a thing. And uh, I just want to tell you, I just want to be clear with you, this is not a paid promotion. Um, they just, but besides the fact that they sent it to me for free, I will be very clear with you and I'll make it very clear if something is ever a paid promotion like if someone sends me something and then they also pay me in addition to giving me the free stuff that very rarely happens on this channel because I don't know I feel like if they pay me in addition to giving me the free stuff then I I lose some sort of uh, leverage and I feel like I have to say good stuff about it but I like being able to say whatever I want right I feel like if they just sent it to me, then I can I can just give you an honest review. And I think loot boxes are a little weird, but I don't know. I uh, but look, that's coming from a guy who gets a lot of crazy things in the mail from amazing fans like you all the time. So I don't need loot boxes. So maybe for people like you, loot boxes are a great idea. So I'm biased. Maybe they're great for you. I don't know. But the pen works great. The pen is cool. Uh, I told them I would put a link to their website down in the in the description. So if you are interested in a loot box like this, is that what they're called, loot boxes? Go check it out. Also, you might have noticed if you watched very carefully down at the beginning of the video when I was opening up that uh, that little canister of shaving cream. Is that what it's called? Shaving lotion, uh, balm? I did accidentally taste... A tiny bit of it and that is not something I would recommend that you do unless you love the taste of soap I've tasted a lot of weird things on this channel I've tasted coffee like ridiculously strong concentrated coffee I've tasted all sorts of kinds of ink and paint and uh, like chemicals for thinning out paint and thickening paint and that's probably one of the worst things I've tasted in the sense that I could not get the flavor out of my mouth for almost a whole day. I was I tr I ate several other things, drank several other things, and it persisted like it was seeping into the very pores of my mouth, back into the cracks between my teeth and in my teeth, and up in my sinuses, back lodging down under my tonsils and stuff. And I have big bulbous tonsils, plenty of places for the the, the soapy flavor to lodge in and take hold. 
don't eat the shaving cream. It tastes strongly of soap. So for this drawing, I was drawing in my moleskin sketchbook. You want to make sure if you're drawing with ink in a moleskin thing, it's a sketchbook and not a ske uh, what's the other kind sketchbook and no note notebook notebooks. Their notebooks have very thin paper. I had one of those. I was drawing in it. It can only draw on one side of each page. Not so great. They're so thin. They're like onion paper. Sketchbooks uh, have much thicker paper. Uh, moleskin sketchbooks, they're okay. I could take them or leave them. They're not, no, like that much better than every other sketchbook out there. They just seem to have much better marketing, uh, you know, and appealing to like all the weird hipstery types out there. Uh, it's just another sketchbook as far as I'm concerned, but they're not bad either. If you want to draw on something, a moleskin's fine, but you don't need it. All right, so thank you everyone that sent me something else that I showed in this video. Another just wacky, weird, and wild video where I spent the first, uh, you know, nine-tenths of the video taking things out of boxes, and I hope you liked that little song I played for you there with my Moog Workstat 01, added the drums with Ableton, little Peter Draws original song, and, uh, I don't know. I was about to say something else and I forgot, but thank you for sending things, people. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, I would recommend this pen. Very cool pen. Feels good in your hand. Feels good on the paper. And it comes with it comes with a a, a, a converter a converter piston whatever the heck these are called in there. You don't. I, that's what I've noticed. The hundred and fifty dollar pens seem to come with the converter in it. And then if you just spend a measly twenty thirty dollars on a pen, they don't come with the converter in it. They don't throw that in for free. You know they're not running a charity apparently. So you got to splurge on the extra $8 or whatever to get the little piston converter in there. I don't know. It's quite a racket. i gotta, I got to figure out how to get into the pen biz, but that probably mean less drawing and stuff on my, my end, so probably won't. Maybe I can license out my name or something. Also seems like a lot of work. i got to find an agent. But that also seems like a lot of work. I just want to keep drawing, man. I need to find an agent to find an agent. All right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. All right. Love you. Bye.